What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Thorne 2K. We are back on our YouTube video. And guys, this is my first ever NBA 2K21 YouTube video. I know, I know, 2K has become that came out for over a week. But guys, I've been streaming on Twitch, so go ahead and follow my Twitch. Um, I've been streaming on there lately, then on YouTube. So yeah, go ahead and follow my Twitch. And also, go ahead and subscribe and like this video. It helps the channel out. Now, boot camp just ended a few minutes ago. Now, I don't know if it's gonna be another boot camp before next gen, but just in case it is, I could give you tips on how you win boot camp. Now, I didn't win boot camp, but I know what it takes to win boot camp. So I'm about to show you the best builds, and the best methods of how you do it. Now let's get into the video. Alright, at first, the bill you want to make, I'm going to show you one of the three bills you're going to make. I'm going to show you to make a person who can throw lobs, because lobs give you most points. So, I'll put this position, I'll put this at the point guard position, nothing else matters. Now, the pie chart I would choose, I would choose this pie chart right here. The Hall of Fame playmaking Hall of Fame shooting so you can shoot when you need to shoot and playmaking so you can get the lobs and all the passes and stuff. Do not pick this pie chart. This pie chart do not give you Hall of Fame playmaking so you will not have all the the points because you don't have Hall of Fame playmaking. So choose this one right here. And just choose the most speed because again you are 75 overall and below. You're not going to have that high speed. So the attributes you want to do. Do not touch finishing at all. Alright. Shooting. You can max everything out in shooting. Take few off of post fade. Bam. 25. Shooting. Now, playmaking. Do the same thing. Take some off. Now you got 24. Then you can just max everything on defense. Now we give you 10 defending badges. Right. If I, uh, I will go. I will go six one. You don't need to be tall. You just need to be fast. You can shoot the ball. You can dribble the ball and can and can pass the ball. Throw lobs and stuff. So six one, I would say to go minimum weight. So you get your your weight. The minimum wingspan for the shooting and your playmaking. Here, you can choose between spot up sharp shooting takeover or you can choose playmaking takeover. I, I do not recommend picking shot creating takeover because you're not going to be moving. I would choose spot up because by the time you get spot up take, it's the end of the game. So, yeah. All right. Now I'm also going to show you what attributes you need to upgrade. Also, cuz you can't upgrade everything as a 75 overall. So let's go into it. All right. Now, the attributes you want to use. You want to max out your mid-range and tell your three point. Uh ball handling you do need uh, you can't see, you see what I'm saying? You can't max everything now. So you might want to drop this to 85, drop this to 85, get this to 80. So you could do something like this. You don't, you can't touch finishing, you got no finisher. You don't want to touch defense because you're not most time you're not gonna play defense a lot. You're gonna cherry pick a lot, but hopefully you get some defending badges still, just in case. But the playmaking, the shooting, you might want to do something like this, keep everything neutral, because you can't go above 75. So this was something I probably do. All right, now let me show you the second build you need. All right, for the build number two, now. 
you can run this build at the two or the three but i recommend if you run this build at the two okay i really do recommend but you want to put this build at power four nothing else matters you want to pick the most finishing pie chart you need your finishing and again you might want to pick the most vertical and speed because you are catching lobs so you need to have that vertical and you do need that speed too shrimp not even going to matter because you you burden not going to play defense finishing you just match everything till you get that 30 get 30 off magic playmaking I would say match all of this in defense but the rest on defense you don't need that much playmaking. You really don't need none of this playmaking, actually. So you could put the rest on this. And then you can take some to use the penny badge. Alright. Do something like this. Body shape doesn't matter. The height, I would go, I would say go 6-7. Because that speed and that vertical. Even though you're not getting that speed or vertical, but let's bad. 6 eight, you go 6-8 too. But I think 6-9, 6-7 is probably perfect. The weight, uh, you can go ahead and lower the weight out and then match your wingspan. And then pick slash and tape, don't pick playmaking. Pick slash and tape and it should become slash and four. Now I'm about to show you attributes you need, attributes you're gonna use for this build. All right, before we can keep going, I will show you all the badges you do need first on all of these builds. But right now, I'm gonna show you the attributes. All right, for this, you need your driving dunk, you need your sandy dunk. Pass accuracy, might need to go up. Defensive rebounds, needs to go up. You can take some off. Fast accuracy. You keep take some off. Really take all of it off, actually. Yeah, don't even worry about pass accuracy. You could put on like driving dunk, close shot. Do something like this. See, we could do something like this. You need your driving dunk. You need standing dunk. Defensive rebounds, just in case you need to get rebounds. Yeah, and that's just it for the. The slash of four. Now I'm about to show you the third build you would need. Okay. Now there's two builds you can do with in this position. This is the spot up position. Now, you can't make him a shooting guard. You can't make him a per sharp. The per speed pie chart. And you know, just upgrade shooting until you get 30. You get 30 until you so playmaking. All right, put that back. And then you match everything else on defense. Uh, you can put some on finishing since you got leftovers. But that's that's what you want to do. Uh, I would say go sit sits. It's not dribbling. So, yeah, sit sits. You do lose that shooting but you're gonna get it back see you got it back and you got your playmaking back too so you really didn't lose nothing besides your defense and uh again pick up i'll pick spot up shooter even though it might not matter because you're probably not going to shoot until the end of the game but just in case i still choose spot up take you better spot up and there's another way you can make another build to spot up. Now, you can make this build the center position, right? You can make a build the center position. You can put, you can go with this pie chart. Because you're probably going to play defense and you're grabbing the rebounds and stuff. And you're shooting fix that later and then here you probably want the you might as well want the most speed and most shrimp pie chart here same thing 
upgrade shooting. You take some, they put that back. The defense, match your defense out. And playmaking. Now, this is key too. You're going to need this pass accuracy because most likely you're going to throw the ball all the way deep. So, you're going to need all this. You got leftovers. Uh, nah, you can put these anywhere. Not going to matter. Right. But I should have matter. I would say go 6 9. Because speed, your three point is better. Your rebound is still good so far. Uh, I'd say match that to weight. No, don't match that to weight. Just give your other boots to weight. And you minimum the wingspan. Go with sharp take. Uh, you can go with any tape besides. Don't go with post tape, but you can go with glass tape. Yeah, you can't go with glass tape because you can't get team takeover. Can spot up take it will help you shoot more threes down the game and rim take. I'll just choose, I'm gonna choose spot up take. You got yourself a three level score. Now I'm gonna show you the attributes you need to use rebuild. All right, the attributes you need now you want to match out your mid range, your three point, your defensive rebounds pass accuracy all right right there or you could take pass accuracy off and you can get gold break start and you can put the rest on the tier in defense That's good. bam those are bills now I'm gonna show you the badges for all of these two but I recommend all right now we're back on the first field uh, the playmaker, the, the shooting, and playmaking pot shot. Now, the finishing doesn't matter. You're probably not going to get this finishing because this is probably not the badge you're going to work on. But uh, you could just put on anything. The shooting, what I would prefer is Ranger Center. That's one. Clutch shooter. That is one, too. Because you're probably not going to start shooting to the end of the game. And if the game is close, this is going to really help you make your shot. I would say catch and shoot. Go with dead eye. Hot start. I don't know. Volume shoot. You can go with volume shoot. Difficult shots. You and I are going to shoot too many leaning shots. I mean, if you do, you could put this on like gold. Then you could put on green machine. That's why I recommend the playmaking badges. Live City Passer and Flashy Passer. Those are the two important badges you would need because you can't throw 11 lobs. You can throw six or seven lobs. After that, you have to do something else. And Flashy Passer will give you a lot of rep like Live City Passer. So, these two of the badges I would recommend first if you can't get all 24 playmaking badges. But these two I will recommend. Handle for days. Need that. Floor General. Dimer. That's going to be a lot of help. Downhill. That's going to be a lot of help too. You might not need Quick First Self or Unpluckable or Bailout. I don't think you would need that. And defense, uh, I put on a Terminator, Clamps, Pig Dodger. Uh, I'll go with bots so you can bots them out for the person who's throwing lobs. Now let's go for the person who's catching lobs, badges. All right, now this is the person who's catching lobs. Now the, lob, now the badge I recommend you get first is lobs to be finished. Do need this Hall of Fame. Then you can put this on contact finisher. Then you can put this on break start. Not break start. Fast break finisher. This is a good badge. It helps you and your team take over too. And it also make your player move faster during a fast break. Showtime. That would also help you get more 
of your team takeover. So that's helped too. The other Badgers, they could be a preference. Uh, like Acrobat, you go with Acrobat. Can Giant Slayer, you might do want that. And the rest is up to you. you might want consistent finisher and Pro Touch. Shooting, shooting doesn't matter. If you could get a a hot spot, or oh, you go with slittery. I'll go with slittery. Playmaking badges. Uh, playmaking badges really doesn't matter. Probably brace starter and downhill and bail out just in case. And the defensive badges. Just in case you need to play the paint. I'll go rim protector, rebound chaser, rim protector. Uh, let's see. Go with box. And you go with pogo sit. And this is the badges you would need for the cat person catching ops. Now, if I show you the spot up badges. I show you the two builds of the spot up badges actually. You still you still around here for the video? Are you still watching the video? Go ahead and comment Thunder Gang. Let me know you're still watching the video. Alright. Now let's go into the last two builds. Alright. This build is the purse the spot up that's playing the three. Now again, finishing doesn't matter, so you could just put this consistent finisher. Shooting. Catch and shoot Hall of Fame, Corner Specialist Hall of Fame, Clutch Shooter Hall of Fame, Ranger Center Hall of Fame, Volume Shooter, Bronze, Green Machine, Sip. Now, Catch and Shoot Corner Specialist, half of the time, more, most of the time, you're going to cherry pick into the corner. You're going to be open every time in the corner. At the end of the game, when you need to end the game, catch and shoot, corner special gonna help. But also, clutch shooter will help. Now, you could put Ranger Center goal, cause you're not shooting deep threes. And have volume shooter, that can help. And green machine can help. They can keep green. And clutch shooter, you need that too for the end of games too. Now, now, if you have hot spots, you can put in you can put in hot zone hunter. You can even put in hot start, but that can be up to you. Now, the playmaking badge. Now, this is why I'm saying you need the playmaking badge. Hall of not Hall of Fame. Go break star. Now, if you need to throw the ball, fences you grab the rebound, the defense rebound, your guard, your tearing defense, cherry picking. And you throw the ball to the guard, and the guard, and it won't just go over the guard head or or between his legs, nothing like that. It just goes straight to the guard hand, and the guard can just throw the lob without worrying about you throwing the ball away because you have a go break start. Now, Bell, just in case you're taking a bad shot, you thought you was open, but the team closed in, you need to throw the ball out. That's what go fell out there for, and the last one is really up to you. Need a threader maybe? Unplug real quick first. Well, you're not gonna be moving with the ball, so I, that doesn't matter. The defense, I'm saying you're gonna need is a Terminator, Pogo Sick, Rebound Chaser, Rim Protector. That's really it. You really don't. Well, bots. I have one box on gold, and yeah, I think that would be it. But you can put a hard crusher. I mean, you really don't need the other badge. Now I'm gonna show you for the spot up. If you want to put the spot up to two position, the shooting the guard. All right, this is the sharpshooter build for the shooting guard. And again, finishing doesn't matter. Let's go consistent finish on him. Shooting. Now you have a lot of shooting badges for this one. So you go Hall of Fame catch and shoot, 
Hall of Fame clutch shooter, Hall of Fame corner, silver or gold range, doesn't matter to you, gold green machine, Hall of Fame volume shooter, if you got hot spots, you can put hot zone hunter, you can put in hot start. Like you could do this. Damn. You have a lot of shooting badges for this. But playmaking. Uh bail out. You want that. Other badges you really don't need. Cause you're not gonna be dribbling, you're just gonna catch the ball and shoot. If you catch it, you're not open, you're gonna pass it back out. So you're not you're not gonna need quick first hit or unpluckable. So you don't need none of these badges. I mean these is a preference, so I won't so I worry about playmaking too much. Just get your three badges and just leave it alone. Where you want to work on most is that shooting badge. Defense, you don't really have to worry about that near, but get some playmaking. You can go with, you can go with near the threader. If you need to throw lobs, you can throw the lob. Same with the flashy pass. And brace hard. Probably want that. Uh, but I need brakes hard too. Defense, uh, I just go go Terminator, go Clemson if you need to, and go pit dodge if you need to. Now, this is it of the video. Now, it just helps you. And next time, if there's a next time in boot camp, and this video helps you, go ahead and drop a big thumbs up. I'll see you in my next YouTube video. Peace.